Malachi neighbor saying, suck my big old black old dick hole. Bye. That was Jamar Neighbors at the World Famous Comedy Store. My name is Omid Singh, and I'm waiting on my co-host, Meg Charles. She's inside the Comedy Store. She's getting drinks for us. And uh, we both had pretty wild weeks, and we're going to talk about it. Hi, how's it going? You look cool. Cool jacket. Let's get this volume down a little bit. That feels better. Check, check, check. Yeah. We'll test Meg's mic when she gets here, but uh, it's been a wild week. My, well, I guess we'll get into it. Trey Stewart, everybody. Trey Stewart. He's in the house. Hey, Trey. How are you doing? Pretty good. What is what is this? What's happening? This is a podcast that Meg Charles and I started here on the Patio Cast. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's real. That's funny. Who's your, who, who's, who's your Meg, guest? Meg Charles. There's no guest, really. You come up and you talk. Anybody oh, really? can talk at any time and tell us how their day's going or <laughs> just how their life's going all together. And we pick it up all the way through from there to there. Crazy That's Smith. crazy, man. Yeah. It's a good idea. Yeah. And it all, it all works out. How yeah. are you? Oh, um pretty good man yeah i'm just uh waiting waiting to go home you know how it is you're waiting to go home yeah why are you waiting to go home uh, i'm waiting for a sign it's my ride but why do you want to go home why do i want to go home yeah what's at home for you uh sleep and pussy mostly pussy there's pussy for you waiting yeah. at home yeah oh that's why you want to go home <laughs> Yeah. What, are you, what are you doing here at all? I know, I know, I know, man. You know, it took a lot for me to, to, to I had to leave Pussy to come here. Wow. Yeah. What did Pussy say when you were leaving? It said, uh, I'll be here when you get back. Oh, my <laughs> God. Put a <laughs> ring on it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, don't let her hear that. Why not? No, I don't care, actually. I'm not one of those guys that's against marriage. I'll marry this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Why not? Why not? Dude, Why not? life is... Yeah, why not? It's Even too short. It, it's not yeah. too short. I, I was gonna say it's. I was gonna say it's too short, but it's not, man. Days are short. Yeah. Life feels I, long. I, life feels long, but in the grand scheme, it is really. Short. You gotta speed it up sometimes and figure yeah. out what you want to do. But if you have a bitch that you're really enjoying, <laughs> I do. Yeah. And you should marry her. <laughs> yeah. You should totally you, marry her. That's a good message, man. That's I, I, you put that out into the world, man. If you got a bitch. That you like, <laughs> you like, and she likes you, and, she likes and you. she's gonna be there for you. Fucking put a ring on it. Put a ring on it. Yeah, There's man. no reason not to. There's really no reason, man, other than uh, you know, insecure. Cheers. Hey, Meg. Hey. Yes. For a minute or two. I brought headphones. It's a crazy. Oh, is it still going? Yeah, it's still recording. Oh wow, that's crazy. I can't plug it into anything though right now. I don't have a splitter. Talk into the microphone, Meg. Then why do you tell me to bring headphones? Because I thought I would have a splitter by now, but I didn't get one yet. <laughs> what were you guys talking about? We're talking about bitches. locking it down. Locking it down. Talking locking about down dishes? Holes. No, bitches. Oh, bitches. Yeah, I'm a married, I, I got, and, you know, getting married. You're getting married? No, but I was oh. telling, I was telling them that I think. I'm not opposed because I have a girlfriend. Yeah. I'm not opposed to marrying that bitch. Oh, yeah. that's so cute. Yeah, See? You know, why not? <laughs> I love why it. Why not? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, that's this probably is, really cool. sexy. How, how many things it was? How many of these have you done? Just one. Just one. This is our second one. Okay. Yeah. And so it's really just you guys are here and you have no book guests, just whoever walks past. Exactly. Because I, I, I walk past, I'm like, what? What the fuck is happening? That's exactly it, what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It took a couple seconds. I thought you were like doing something. We are doing something. No, I thought you were like maybe like it's listening professional. to something and it was professional. I, th I thought you were like. <laughs> no, we're not professional. We're not professional. No, no, no. It, this, this is very professional, actually. Is this the comedy stores? No, this is mine. This is yours? Get yeah. out of me, man. Yeah, really? this is all my stuff. It's uh, Meg's batteries, though. Oh, yeah. I bought. Well, no, we split that cost. We, we think we split the cost of batteries. <laughs> We're not really sure. There was a lot of shuffling of dollars <laughs> on the table. We really I might have just paid $7 for batteries, but I got a dollar for Dude, batteries. wouldn't that be cool if that was like my plan? Like, I like. That would not be cool at all. Like, Meg. I planned to like shuffle the money around so much that you <laughs> didn't even know that you paid for it. Yourself? I would hate that. I would hate that from beginning God, to I'd end. God, I'd be such a good con plan. artist. It's so, man. Much, so much to do for so For $7? Yeah, yeah, that's not a good con artist. If you're conning somebody out of batteries, 
series. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are, Becky. Oh, me sing, everybody. Oh, me, you, you had a great set tonight, huh? Thanks, Becky. Do you feel good about it? Yeah, I do feel good about it. I had a lot of fun telling jokes on stage. Did you do a set? Uh, yes, she I did. did. Becky did a, also do a set. How do you feel about yours? How do you feel about yours? Good question, Trey. Yeah. I felt like I was Louis C.K. up there. Oh, you felt like you were touching I felt like I was touching everybody. Really? Becky Robinson, everybody. <laughs> Breaking the silence that we're all, we're all thinking. <laughs> Thanks, Becky. Uh, Wait, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look for my ride. All Maybe, right. Hopefully he hasn't left Hopefully not. Well, it's nice to see you. Good, good, good being a guest. Yeah. On uh, what is this? This called? I guess our names. We don't know. <laughs> yeah. We ha- we're like really we're like the worst yeah. podcast planners of all. You know what I I'll don't do? think that's true at all. This I already is actually got, really good. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no. I meant great. planner. Like oh, we don't yeah. have anything really planned. Ever. No, I mean, what can we have planned besides this? We're, our podcast is literally about not it being planned. I'm Ooh, that's hoping. not planned. Not that's planned. his name. I was not here. planned. I kind of like that. Something I don't know. I no one likes like our, our name ideas. I like so. our names, yeah. Just Omid well, and Meg. Omid and Meg. Well, I'll I like say, what I'll say is I'll leave it blank so you guys can just fill, fill in a blank later. So I was like, hey, thanks. It, it was great being on the guest that's name is. <laughs> Good. And then you go ahead and put that we'll in. We'll figure it out. Yeah, you figure it out. But, uh, Trey Stewart, everybody. Trey Stewart, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was great being on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> dude we gotta figure that out we gotta figure out a name i think i put too much coconut oil on my legs you can never put too much coconut oil on your what'd legs. you say you can never put too much coconut oil on your legs well i mean i'm pretty glistening who cares oh Petey's back hey pete hey guys good to see you again how are you how are you i love you guys how's the podcast going good. uh yeah we just, just started tonight started no i met you here like two weeks ago so it's not the first time you just didn't start no tonight i mean, oh, I mean for tonight's episode you just started yeah, yeah. sorry man i i get a little high or intoxicated <laughs> you know so <laughs> um, yeah wait last we time know. we talked about how you're gonna sponsor our podcast oh right yeah man well i think i already did are you guys high uh I am. sort of yeah a little okay, well, bit and it was yeah, from I sponsored one of your half joints. the podcast you there did. You Find someone else to sponsor the other half. Someone else can get you high, Meg. <laughs> I mean, I got I high mean, earlier got with your shit. joint. Oh, you did? Yeah. 100% okay, so 100% podcast. is sponsored <laughs> uh, by, by me. Yeah. yeah. By Have, some that. <laughs> Have some of that. Have some of that. I like it. Okay, also, um, I love you guys. Uh, I oh, wish you luck uh, on your podcast. Follow me on uh, Twitter at PDC. I never post things. But uh, go on Facebook. I'm Pete Cornacion and uh, Instagram. <laughs> and uh, and buy I his love weed. Meg. No, don't buy my weed. I don't sell it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I'm even a weed guy. I just smoke a lot of joints. Okay. And anyways, thanks, Meg. Throw me under the bus. Anyways, uh, weed's legal uh, next January yeah, uh, in 2018. The, yeah. And uh, I love you guys. Uh, Omid, you're my favorite person in the world. And Meg, I mean, you're on the list somewhere. Thanks, uh, oh, somewhere. No, you're amazing. I love you. Oh, thanks. You guys have a great podcast. You Thank you to sponsor and this I, podcast. Pizza. Yeah, you're welcome. I'll sponsor the next three. <laughs> oh, Whoa, yeah. we got a deal. That's our first I deal. Love our that. first sponsorship deal. The next three podcasts I'm sponsoring. I love you guys. And That's I awesome. I would just like to say, if if there's anybody who's <laughs> second, uh, considering me for the award for best. Uh, Becky, I'm pulling it further away because you're popping, but I want to hear you what this is. For best in show, I have very much well developed my handstand. Do you want to do it right now? Nope. Becky Robinson. I think I missed that. I think she was doing a bit about wanting to do a handstand. A handstand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I couldn't hear her. The tunes are like extra popping tonight. Yeah, it's really loud. Like it's like, yeah. It's like uh, disco night. Oh, well, it's Ham Hawk, so I bet she just blasted it up more. Who's out front? Ham Hawk. Ham Hawk. Punky. Punky. Sorry, I, I call never her call her Ham Hawk. I was introduced to her as Ham Hawk, so. Ham Hawk? What does that even mean? Uh, I think it's actually a part of a pig, you know? A Ham Hawk? I don't know. Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, Tony Towns. How you doing? How are you? How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, that's right. Well, I gotta run. <laughs> They're chasing me. <laughs> that was perfect timing. That was perfect timing. 
Like always. Why was, oh, I see why that was. What? Hey, everybody. It's a live show. Anything can happen. <laughs> it's me, Tony Hinchcliffe, one of the top young rising comedians <laughs> in, in the, the world. world. Yeah. Yes. TonyHinchcliffe.com. See me on the road. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Wacky noises. Obity, 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 obity. Wow. Tony Hinchcliffe, love you too. Dude, I feel like so far this is the exact repeat of last episode, like the same characters. Just no Boone yet. No Boone, but Tony was there last time. Yeah. Pete, I know Renee's going to wander by us at some point. At some point. <laughs> and tell Jenna us was actually on the episode too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, What's the security guard's name? Justin. Justin. He's not a security yeah. guard, is he? He's, He's just staring at us like... But is he a manager? No. That's very loud tonight, huh? It sounds like an alien just landed. <laughs> it sounds like we're uh, touching Josh down. Martin flicked hey, us off Eric per usual. How's it going, How are you? You want to be on our show real quick? You got a minute? You have a minute? Can hear you. Oh, I got a minute. How's your day? Uh, my day's going very well. How is your day? Pretty Do you good. have an accent? Is it real? I, well, yeah, I have an accent here, but it's like a normal voice back at home, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I just couldn't tell. It's like half American, half not American. Yeah, I sometimes have to like like change things. Like I can't say butter. I, I gotta say butter. Yeah, there you go. Otherwise, you're yeah, like, you what do. the fuck are you saying? Yeah, butter is just butter. No, no, no. So, yeah. I like the accent. Wait, yeah. Omid, you were just in Edinburgh Festival, right? I was just in the Edinburgh Festival. How Fringe was that? Festival. It was great. I got to do story poker there and oh, did a lot of stand-up. At the Counting House, right? At the Counting House. Fucking lovely venue. In the ballroom. It was yeah, amazing. I'm so glad that you did that. Ballroom is where I did my second hour show. That's awesome. It's great. I'm so great glad you went Great room. There. We never got to fill it. Do you do comedy? It was great. Yeah, I do the old... Who doesn't in this town, right? We're yeah. We're all comedians. We're all comedians, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's everything. It's but I'm, I'm quite new here, so I don't I don't know who you. Megan. Hello, Megan. Hi. What's love your name? Eric. Eric. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry, me. I didn't introduce yeah, you. Yeah, way fine. to go, you dick. Apologies for interrupting this podcast. No, that's what. No, no, it, no, that's the whole point. I fucking love that you're just here doing a podcast. Yeah, that's yeah, the whole point. It's just to talk whoever's to around, we talk to him and see what's so going you're on. You're so creative, Omid. Thanks, man. It's like, actually I mean, Meg's it's idea actually as well. my idea. It was my idea. Oh, it's okay. But, but, no, I mean, but, but, it, but I am still creative. You are still creative, right. and you had the equipment. Like, I don't have that. Because idea. you had the equipment, I assumed it was him, not because of sexist reason, Megan? I, this no, is, but oh, this, I couldn't so do it without me. Okay. Uh, and apologies to anyone listening to this. I, a lot of Americans hate the British accent. No, I love that's it. I think it's true. adorable. Oh. Nobody hates Everybody in yeah, America wants to be British. Who really? hates a British Everybody accent? Everybody in America wants it's to be sexy. British. That's why we love the Queen and we love Princess Diana and we love the I mean, you princes. know she died, right? Why is she still in the news? It she it didn't die. She was murdered. Oh, yeah. She was straight she up was, murdered. She was straight up murdered. <laughs> oh, yeah. She died in a tunnel with no videos? Come on. Somebody, pa-pow. Is Somebody. that how you make a gun noise? Yeah, they go pa-pow. I think they, the, the royal family was annoyed that she was dating... An Arab. An Arab person. Yeah. Oh. Racist. Racist. I mean, that them. is the way of the world <laughs> now. Yeah, people Ugh. get mad when you date an Arab. Yeah. What's this podcast called? Oh. <laughs> We're trying to figure oh. it out. We don't know. Uh, oh, it's so still fresh. Yeah, still this fresh. is the this second is time. Uh, we, we, it started out with our names, but most people have said that that's stupid. Why? I don't know. Megan yeah. and Omid? Omid and Megan? Yeah. But which would come first? Omid and Megan. Oh, shit. I think why? so. I don't know. I'd yeah. say Omid and Meg. I don't know why I like it, Omid and Meg. Which one rings better? Uh, Omid and Meg. Megan, Megan Omid. Omid. Om- Omid and Meg is a is little better, bit better yeah. off the tongue. Yeah, apologies. No, that. I don't care. I'm you not. Gotta, you got to nail the Omid, and then the Meg just comes out strong. It just comes out strong. But it's like, is it too basic? We don't want to be basic. Omid and Meg is not basic. <laughs> it's like Will and Grace, a uh, bad example. <laughs> That's like Mike and Molly. It's like That's just a pretty basic. That's yeah. Hi, Jordan Perry. Oh, That's I'm pretty basic. I'm sorry. Ten million people a week is basic. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Six seasons. You don't need to get that close. It pops. What the fuck close. is Mike but, um, and Molly? Yes, it is. I didn't realize how. Uh, Mike and Molly is exactly, a CBS dude. show. Huh? It's a show on CBS. Is it good? No. Who cares jo- if it's the good? The joke is they're fat. Melissa they're McCarthy's on That's it. That's the joke. Uh, Billy Gardell's on it. Well, I mean, I don't want to suck. We're, We're not going to suck. Actually, going back to the title of the podcast, Omid and Meg actually has a touch of um, something interesting about it. Because you've ah. got Meg and you're like, Finally. great, a white person. Something that we can all <laughs> exactly. relate to. Exactly. It's not Omid and Meg. And you're like, Omid. 
boom, and it, you're like, oh, uh, apologies for making the, the, that sound. No, 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 like, it makes sense. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh shit, you know, double trouble. Double trouble. One's a girl, and she's it's, white it's from Arkansas. Say. The oh, not, I'm not from, from Arkansas. And the from. other one's Meg. Right. <laughs> God, I, would, I think I'd be really sad if I was from Arkansas. Meg, where are you from? Minneapolis. That's Minneapolis. like Arkansas. That's the Arkansas of the north. Of the Des Moines? Sure. Is that what you said? What I said it's the Arkansas of the north. The north. Yeah. It's the Midwest, by the way. It's the North. It's the Midwest. I've gotten in this argument with other people. It's the Midwest. Where is it? Arkansas? Minneapolis. Minneapolis? It's the Midwest. Minnesota? Minnesota is Midwest. It's the fucking North. No, it's not. It's touching Canada. The Doesn't north, matter. The, the, north, north. the North is like Boston, New York, like the Northeast. That's no, the Maine north. is also North. Yeah, uh, that's well, the Northeast. Americans are famously not good at geography. I know. Okay? This is terrible. So you that's why you're arguing about where states Midwest. are. Midwest. All right, well, whatever. If anything, it's well, Central America. The north and the South, we're referring to the East Coast. Yeah. The West Coast is a whole other thing. West Coast. Midwest is like, hey, baby, I'm right here. Midwest. No. Okay, Central. Where, where are you from? I'm from San Diego. San Diego. Irvine. Oh, California. Yeah. I was born in California. Yeah. You Californians, you don't know anything about anything except California. I mean, what else is there to know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what? What, I'm going to learn about Georgia? Did you see that video? What? The cop? Oh, yeah. That's that crazy? Yeah. What did I miss? No, that's how cop... I don't know how... You know what are. I'm more upset about is how many people missed this video. So it's many people... Yeah, it's the video where the, the cop calms down a, a white person and goes, Oh, don't worry. We only kill black people. What? I have not seen that. And this. he said that like he's so happy. About he, now, he what's weird is that he got fired for saying that jokingly he kills black people yeah. when people that kill black wow. people don't, don't get, get fired. fired wow. right? That's weird. Fuck I mean, look, I, I love America. I married an American. Right? I'm on your side. But when it comes to like that side, it's fucking America's weird. America's no, that weird. it's not weird. We suck. <laughs> it's very strange that you're like just happily killing people. Not it's happily. Like, you know what? Who's happily you know doing what? it? You know what? what Are you think they're happily doing it? Then we got a real problem on our hands. Well, I don't know. Like, I guess they are happily you might get doing a it. Joy from it. You don't know what which clan they're. they're That's in. so scary to think about. Right. That's so scary to think about just being around shitty people. Dude, I feel like it's like I don't know if it's just the internet, but the more I feel like more and more shitty people are just emerging. Like it's just they have a you voice. know, yeah. Like they, it's just. It feels like now we're sat like we probably always have been saturated with shitty people, but it feel like you feel it more than ever now. Y you know. Yeah. Shitty people have always been around. I mean, I mean obviously, there's been it's shitty just, people it's forever. To, uh, honestly, though, that's just a, a white person thing. It's like black people have known about this shit for a very long time. Only white right. people, because now um, these people have a voice. That is true. Uh, I believe I know. NWA has I'm not, said. But oh, yeah, I'm like, I'm not. But Jordan, when you were like six, you knew it was going on? Yes. Sit five. Yes. Four, yes. three, yes. I think two, it was, but I think black it was one. Kids, black kids are room. Yeah. In the room, I was like, Dad's dick? I was like, this system's fucked up. <laughs> I mean, you knew from back then, Black huh? kids know about race before white kids do. You sure? Hell yeah. That makes sense. Black kids are aware, oh, I'm black and they're white, and white kids are like, everyone's the same. But, oh man, this is a tough one. Yeah, it was hard though because... You also grew up in San Diego, so it's different. I grew up in Dubai. Oh, Dubai? Well, that's hella different. I grew up, I grew up in Dubai. Yeah, really? So you know I heard Dubai is dope. Huh? You know those two twin towers? Uh, very in rich Dubai place. or in New York? No, in Dubai. Not those. Yeah. Twin towers. I lived there when it was desert. So I right, moved so I lived before. There when I was 12, so about 18 years ago. Yeah, so same time. And there's time. like three blocks, and then there's like it's like a stretch where it was like quite new, and there's those sort of twin towers, but one's a little bit taller than the other. Okay. I lived there. Wow. Yeah, my dad's a jockey, so we just rode horses. Cool. In Dubai. Yeah. That's so exciting. what did you do? I was bored. I was but like, like what's there to do? What what's there to do in Dubai? To? Well, back like then, for there wasn't fun. that much to do. There was like, buy some gold. Did you go to EIS? Was that? Did you go to EIS? I didn't go to school. You didn't go to school at all no, while no, you were there? about seven months, yeah, I didn't go to school. Wow. Wow. Really? I just homeschooled myself, mate. Bloody love I mean, you're in Dubai. You're probably learning all kinds of shit. Yeah, Man, I learned how to play cricket. Oh, nice. That's it was awesome. awesome. Which one is that? That's the it's the one with this. It's like boring baseball. Yeah, it's, it's like, like the one baseball. with the stick. It's, it's baseball if Willy Wonka made the rules. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Willy Wonka makes the dopest shit. <laughs> that's actually the, very true. That's the point. 
Because it makes sense. Everybody bats at once for one team, and then the other team bats, and if you can beat the first team, you win. Fuck this three and three and three and three and three. Everybody go. However many runs you score, that's your team's Why don't amount they have of runs. Gloves? They catch with their hands. One guy has gloves. The guy, the guy behind the wickets. That's what they're called. Okay. He's that's, got gloves. That's, that's so foreign to me. But everybody else catches it, and that ball is made of drum roll, cock. Uh, whoa. What? That's what it's called. Cock. It's made out of cock. Cock. And what they only use. That's what it's called. It's called cock. It's like cork. Probably, but it's called cock. They call it cock. They call it cock, <laughs> and they only use one ball during a match. They use the same ball, what so the ball, ball like begins to like. Hey. It does. They look. They look. That's part of the game of cricket. That's part yeah, of the game of cricket. Got, Do you know got, how to play got, cricket? We got, we got all kinds of balls, guys. We can just get another. No, one. one ball. You know why? So that way, the guy who knows how to spin the ball when it gets like looser, he can spin it easier. Oh. It's like an advantage thing. I want. Cricket. Just all these cricket. weird rules. I'm like, what? Why? Run. What's the point? Because it's fun. What makes it so fun? It's like, okay, it's, it's, it's like when I first arrived in America, I didn't understand what American football was about. Really? Because yeah, it's a mess. For it's me, it's a mess. Easy. It's, it's very like easy. It's like That's last 10 so seconds. Easy. And you bump into each <laughs> other. And I'm like, no, no, it lasts 10 seconds. Oh, okay. It lasts and then 10 it, seconds. It's weird. But then I learned the rules that it's Earl, maybe one of the best games ever. Earl. It's chess. I'm going to get some booze. I'll see you later. Get some booze. Podcast. Come on, Eric. Come, come on, here. Come on, our podcast. What is this, a patio podcast? Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. There you go. You got it. See you on the internet. See you on, see you on YouTube see in on a week. See you on SoundCloud and iTunes. Yeah. No, yeah. no SoundCloud and iTunes. We're keeping it basic. Did, uh, yeah. You tried to say that SoundCloud was, like, closed. No, no. It's back. It's back? It was going to be... Uh, they were going to... Um, closed. But they, Why did I say closed? They got to... Res- you know... They got to raise? You call those things. Not a restraining order, but a uh, revenue stream. They got something. They're they're they never left. That's good. Nice. But this you're gonna be able to find on YouTube. Yeah. What's the difference? YouTube. There's no video though. No, there's a picture of us, and then it just like scrolls back and forth. We're a low cut top. If you want the numbers. <laughs> That's uh, what? Not you. Her. We're a low, low cut, cut top. top. Oh, no, we got serious. We got to take a picture tonight. Uh, we okay. Can't forget that. I think you guys should go closer to where the sound we, is. It's so loud over there. I can hear the music in here right now. It's like I can hear the next episode. I like the like ambient background noise. Well, this is, that's a little more than ambient. It's I'm, like half the noise. Well, there's tonight, like us and then tonight music. it's like super loud, but last week it wasn't that bad. You guys should do a roast battle. Just rip off the show. Call it, like, I don't know. Roast battle. Toast battle. Toast battle. Just have two fat comics pounding food. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. That is very funny. And get Bruce Bruce and... Uh, earthquake. Yeah, Earthquake. Well, Earthquake's not that fat. Really? Maybe... Uh, uh, his name's Earthquake. Uh, Lavelle, so uh, what's his name? Crawford. Crawford. Yeah, get those two. It's a pilot, so there's no pay. <laughs> they wouldn't do it. I can think of a few comics who would do it. Yeah. Can you imagine if you pitched in that show? Andrew Solzman. He's lost all his weight. He's still joke. creepy as fuck, but... <laughs> dude, I'd be like... I won't say who I was on a date with, but we'd be on, you know, out on the town. And he'd, like, lift up his fluid bag as we're eating. Ew. And go, hey, look at my, uh... I don't know, his, his fucking boil or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> who is this? Andrew. I mean, I'm happy that he lost a lot of weight. Sure, yeah. 200 pounds, 300 Wow, pounds. that's... I want, how did he do it? I, oh, I, I he never had a procedure done. Yeah. Great guy. Very smart. Like, super smart guy. Yeah. I don't know him that well. I mean, I don't really know him that well Just either. seen him at the open mics. I, mean, I, I would see him creep on every girl I well, was ever hanging out with. <sighs> it's I the hope worst. he's not listening to this. I doubt it. I'm sure somebody will show it to him, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. He'll probably hack into the feed. So do you guys just get people who come walk by? Yeah. Yeah. That's a smart move. Yeah. yeah. I think last week was a lot more interest. I'm like very so like, rude. I'm in a mood Remember? tonight where I'm just kind of like, yeah. But that's the mood of the night. This is what it's been like. But it has time. been like this all day. Everyone's, I've been in like just a weird. What's hot? But it's today, hot. no, today, I mean, today it feels way better. Oh yeah. It cooled down by about 20 degrees. It's like amazing. It's like 80s today. But Just like I, the good old days, I think last week it was so hot and I worked so much that it just like killed me. Yeah. You and worked here? Yeah. The whole night? Like what? The whole night? The whole week. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, not the night. Sorry. I mean, every, pretty much every night last week. And it just, like, I don't know. Put me Today I've been in a very strange headspace. It is also Labor Day. Also true, which made me feel weird as well. Why? Because I kind of stayed, I stayed around here and didn't do much. And I feel like, I feel like you're supposed to go on, like, a vacation on Labor Day and, like, go to a cabin and jump in water. Get a mattress or something. Yeah. Get a uh, sail. A mattress? I would have. I should have gotten one because I need a new one. Oh my god, I got so many mattresses. <laughs> you, oh, you have them? You stocked up? I got plenty of mattresses. Where? You gonna sell me one? <laughs> From my dad's apartment. I got two. I got two mattresses. Oh wait, this is a serious thing. You have. You thing. do have a lot of mattresses. I'll yeah. be right back. I gotta return some videotapes. <laughs> <Viral>. <laughs> do you actually? Yeah. How many do you have? I have two. Are they comfortable? One of them is. I was gonna take the comfy one. Oh, but oh. if you need a mattress, I'll give it to you. I, I have one. It's just really, it's the one that I inherited when I moved here. Yeah, I inherited two mattresses. Yeah, well. and it hurts my back like hell. I got you covered. Oh, really? Yeah, I Did I just win a mattress? You just won a mattress. This is the most exciting part of my day. This Actually, like, my week. This is like the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Right now. You uh, just won yourself. Not Wheel yeah, of Fortune. Price but, is right. But I didn't even do anything. You did something. It's like you inquire. It. And I need to get rid of a mattress. We'll figure out how we, we'll figure out how you're gonna get the mattress. You have I mean, I'll do whatever it takes. You have a month to get a mattress. What? You have a month to get a mattress. I'll t I'll do whatever it takes. I can do that. Do I get to test it out? Hell yeah. What if it's like? Is it too? Is it what? What's it like? Hard, Heaven. soft. Heaven. That's it. Heaven. Hard, soft, medium. Heaven. Just heaven. There's two mattresses you can choose from. All right. There's like a soft one, and then there's like a super thick one. I wanted the super thick one. I'll be honest. All right. I, I sleep on the softish one, Yeah. but I was going to take the super thick one. Well, you know, now see, now you're making me feel bad. I'm not making you feel bad. I'm being completely honest with you. No, I know, but now I can't take the one you want. I know you're going to subconsciously anyways want the one that I want, so it doesn't really matter. And also, I can live with you taking the comfy one. Aw, that's you know? so sweet. Why are there not more gentlemen like you? It's a great question. I can't even get a date, you know? And What does that mean? You just gave me a mattress. Yeah. Dude, more dudes need to be... Giving out mattresses? Gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, or that. <laughs> Handing out mattresses. I just, I mean, I came into these mattresses. Not like literally. I didn't <laughs> come into these mattresses. Well, one of them. You didn't jerk the off super into comfy all one. of it? Yeah, of course. No, you know what? Both mattresses I've jerked off on, so. You did? Of course. They're both jerk off mattresses. Okay, do you, okay, do you think it's weird to, uh, yeah, like inherit someone else's mattress or not? You know, some people are like really grossed out and weird. I mean, you got to know the person, you know? Huh? You got to know the person that you're inheriting it from. Right. But I just jerked off on it. <laughs> you know, that's all that happened. It's you not that big a deal. You didn't jerk off on it. I didn't jerk off on it. I'm like sure some <laughs> jizz eventually touched the mattress. But mostly the sheets, you know? <laughs> it was always covered. I, I'm not like some monster that would just sleep without sheets and just jizz all over the place. <laughs> you know what oh, I'm saying? Oh, you're not? Not yet. Not yet. You I could mean, reach out. You might to, reach that level. If in I like, had to, yeah. How old are you? Right now? Yeah. 28. Oh yeah, you got you got like, give yourself like five years and you'll be just jerking, just jerking off, off mattresses. <laughs> I hope coming, not. Coming on that mattresses. That doesn't sound like much of a come up. Uh, I mean, terrible. I don't know what happens in five years, but you do get older, and I think you just are care you over less. thirty? Huh? Are you over thirty? Yeah. How old are you? How old do you think I am? Thirty-one. Thir yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be thirty-two actually next Wednesday. Wow, September. I feel like I'm maybe freaking out in my head a little bit about September it. September what? 13. Cool. I'm a little... Nervous? I don't feel good about it. Why? I mean, there is, like, I do feel good about it in the sense of I do always love a new year. Like, I always consider a new year that my birthday, not, like, you know, not New January Year's Eve. First. Yeah. New Year's like, Eve? Yeah. Or, yeah, New Year's or whatever. Cause no, I no, feel New like Year's Eve is right. It just whatever. sounds wrong, doesn't it? I know. Because I feel Year's like Eve? that's just, like... It's just the start of a new calendar year. It's not a start of a new year for me. Yeah. You know? So I'm a little excited about that because I feel like maybe it can be like this. I can make some goals, fresh start, stuff like that. Are you a soccer player now? Yeah, I want to be a soccer player. Trying to score some goals? This guy wants to score some goals. He's, he's like way too dancey for this place right now. Yeah, he is. Why do they get? Who cares? S sexy. Um, Doesn't matter. 
But yeah, I mean, obviously, it's another year that I didn't achieve other goals, so that's 31 has been a year that 30, you haven't. I don't think. Well, I think the problem is, is like, I didn't really. Oh, I didn't. I did make goals, and I didn't achieve or reach some of them. So. So I feel like shit about that. What were some of the goals? To get the fuck out of this place. That was a goal. Hell you can, yeah. You can get rid of here. You can get out of here right now. You can just go quit. No, I don't have money to quit. You don't have another job you can do. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? You don't think you can find another job in Los Angeles? What are you trying to do? That's are you, the Are you just trying to get out of here, or are you trying to figure out something? I think do? I'm just, at this point, trying to get out of here first. You can do that super easy. You just got to go in and quit. Yeah, but I need another job first. You'll find another I job. I thought about it today. I was like, oh, I want to quit so bad. You'll find another job. Yeah, but it's not. It took me. I almost moved home because I couldn't find a job when I first moved here. Yeah, yeah. How many years ago was that? Yeah, that. You don't think you can? Okay, you can't do. You want to do a restaurant job? If I, I mean, I don't overtly know. I don't want to do that. What can you do? Everything. Fucking good answer. Yeah, it's the good confidence answer. I need to get a new fucking job. What do you do, Miss? I do everything. everything. Well, there you go. Do you think hired? Hired. Hired. Boom. Three hundred dollars an hour. Oh fuck yeah. Three hundred roses an hour. Three hundred roses? It's a it's a hooker joke. A hooker quote? It's a joke about hookers. Rich Slayton, everybody. Uh, hey Richie, you wanna talk to us? Hi Rich. Oh I talk here? Yeah, yeah you talk here. I got it. Oh you got it? Nice. Yeah. Good level. Good yeah. level. I got, you. I got you covered. He is. Are what? you getting the hit song in the background? Oh yeah, of course. Oh man! So this, was really my, this was my jam for a long time. We them boys. Yeah, we them boys. That's we them boys. Uh, uh, what are the so lyrics? What did, I, what did I walk into? Nothing really. Just us talking about uh, jobs. Jobs and goals and getting older. Oh, uh, all those are terrible. I know. <laughs> I said it's almost my birthday. It's next week, and I'm just like, I'm on the How fence of loving it. Oh no, I don't do that. I was being polite because. You say, like, oh, I've turned 21 12 times. Now I know you're 33. No, I, oh, yeah. I'm going to be 32. 32? Congrats. Yeah. Proud yeah. of you. Are you? Not everyone makes it that far. Who doesn't make it kids, to 32? A lot, of kids, a lot of kids in these streets aren't making it to 32. Look at that. Uh, yeah. That's what's up. That's true. Kurt Cobain didn't make it to 32. Yeah, sure but he, he also. Right? No, 27. Isn't he 27? 27 is that notorious. A lot of those people. Amy yeah, yeah. Winehouse, 27. Jimi Hendrix, 27. I'm uh, surprised Amy Winehouse made it at 27. Wasn't Marilyn Monroe 27? I have no idea. Or maybe she's in her 30s. I don't know. Yeah, but it's that notorious well, then, age. She's in her 30s, though. She was done. So, I mean, like, cash out at that point. Right. Yeah, I mean. Are you ready to cash out? Ooh. Are you 30? No, you're not ready to cash 33. out. 33. Yeah. Don't you have a kid? No, no. My wife. Uh, he has a dog, though. Yeah, I have a dog. No, we're, uh, we're, in, the, we're in the midst. I'm trying to make that happen. Cool. You fucking. That's we, what yeah, you're doing. Smashing. You fucking. Yep. Oh, going deep. baby fucking. Yeah. Is baby fucking That's going to be the best fucking. fucking. You know what? Actually, I like it better. Yeah, cause you just, because there's no uh, rules. It's well, just like. No, no. We've been. We just put been, it right in the butt. Yeah, just like. No. Every time. No rules. <laughs> that's like, how I make girls It's just like, come in me, you know? Yeah. Well, well, we, you don't have been, to worry about it. We've been doing that forever. I'm just. But now. Yeah. But there's something about like. All right. There's something about playing with. Yeah, I mean. I've been married for five years now. It's like, well, I guess, what, yeah. What are we doing to play this condom game? Get the fuck out of here. Hilarious. Well, some people don't want kids, well, even when they're married. Yeah, well, then we had birth control. It was yeah, great. All right. Yeah, all these people are super scared or whatever. But no, like, fu like when you're doing it to make a kid or doing it with, like, with no protection whatsoever, Attention. it's like having, there's, like, there's no net. And so the excitement level is like, oh, this could be the one. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. It's a weird, the first time we did that, I was the first time I did it with the intent of like, oh, we're not on birth control anymore. It was like weirdly exhilarating. So I was oh, like, I oh, we're we're playing for real now. Every other fuck has been just us goofing off. Yeah, this is the real shit. How long? Damn. Can I ask how long you guys fuck for? Ask like, how long, how long each for? time. Like how long? How long is one <laughs> fuck session? It depends. It really depends. I mean, sometimes we just want to bang it out real quick, get in, get out, like do a potluck set, get the fuck off stage. Hilarious. But. <laughs> Some, but there's sometimes when we go and it's like, oh, this is like a good 20, 30, 40 minute session. Now we know how long Rich Slayton can fuck for. Hey, that's the, that's, yeah. good length. There are times like some, sometimes is there a fire it's, going sometimes on right it's that there? long. Sometimes I go no, for eight hours. Fucking vape. That's oh, a that vape shit's pen. That's the grossest. That's some douche. 
dude. That's like a car. This, the one thing about this place is great. Like we sell candy. moron juice on Idiot Boulevard, and it's the fucking worse. All these people who come in here. Moron juice. Yeah. This shop would be great if it weren't for the customers. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I might. We were just lose, talking about. That. We were just talking about. I like lose. It's it's. I had this conversation with somebody last week, and I was just like, so many idiots. It's just, it, like, just asking the dumbest questions where you're like, you really are an adult, and you're asking that question. Yeah. Uh, have you never been out before? Like, I don't get it. Dude, some guy like who's they live asked under me for coke here before, he hangs out here all the time, he's, he's like, uh, he's, he's, in, he's in recovery, but asked me where he can find drugs all the time. Yeah. He cornered Mark Marin last night. And was like, hey, man, will you do my show? And Mark was nice. He was like, yeah, just uh, email me. And so he was and the guy goes, oh, I don't know how to do that. Oh, my God. And I stopped and said, you don't know how to email? Oh, my God. There's so many idiots. That's so embarrassing. Yeah. It's bad. Man, I would have loved to have asked Mark Marin to do my show. And yeah. I would have had my fucking email prepared You'd be ready, to do like, it. Dude, I, I can email you now. Oh, man. From my phone. God damn this it. This guy, d- I don't know how to email is the most insane thing I've God heard damn a it. person under 30 say. Ugh. Hi, Emily. Hi. No, come Emily, on. Emily, come, come over on, here. Emily. Here, come in. Take my space. Come on. Go. Emily, just come oh. on. All right, we'll do whatever you got to do. Come on, Emily. Hey, you kids have fun. Thanks, Rich. You were great. Happy fucking. Happy baby making. Just come over here. Just come over no, here. No, we don't really talk. We, you, so you can do whatever you want. Never just come a little bit closer. Yeah. It's me so hard to try to talk to you. You don't have to be so squeezed. If you don't want to talk to us, you don't have to. But I want you to we talk to us. We just both really like you. Because really oh. we're recording a podcast. You got those things like against your chin. Oh, I know. He told me I had to. Yeah, it's because we got to pick him up. Do I have to do that stuff? No, you don't have to. But you got to talk into the microphone. <laughs> I was. Hi, what Emily. Is this? this is your microphone. All right. We're just saying hi. We just want to know about your day. We just like you. I mean, is that That's so all wrong? It is. Jesus, yeah, there's fine. so much to is that a big deal. Love you guys. That's yeah, great. She seems so sketchy right now. She's not normally this sketchy. Yes, she is. <laughs> really? Only the sketchiest. All right. <laughs> Only the sketchiest, sketchiest one. I get. All right, I can see it. <laughs> What's uh, going on? What's going on, guys? Talking about jobs so far. Uh, yeah, we were talking about jobs, getting older. Oh, Rich is Rich is trying to have a baby. No, yeah. Why? I, I don't. Billy I, yeah, I guess he yeah. likes children. Get closer. <laughs> you know? No, get closer. Yeah. To this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He's married. That's what you do. Talk, yeah. Billy. What's a gram of cocaine go for these days? What? I don't know. Oh, you're just asking. Oh, that's I've a question. I've been trying to figure it out. No one wants How to answer it. How many grams are in an eight ball? I don't. Eight. I don't three do blow. Okay, three and a half. Oh. How much is an eight ball? An eight ball is. Someone gave me one for free one time. Okay, Dang. so free. So but you I, get I, a gram for free. That's no, no, no. Boom. In San Diego, I can. But I got scared to drive back to LA with it because I didn't want to go to jail. So I flushed it down a toilet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Isn't a gram then not a lot? Someone told me how much it was worth, and I was like, oh, I fucked up, dude. Dang. A gram of cocaine? Oh, uh, no, an eight ball. Oh, wow. Somebody gave me an eight ball after a show in San Diego on a Wednesday. You know the show. Harvell's? Is it a place? No. Rift San Diego. City? Oh, it smells like a campfire all of a sudden. Is it Rift City? What is Bits? that? Beach I love wood. that smell. Never done it. You haven't done it? Nope. I can get you on. I get still me on, really man. I got to do some stand up. I want to do mushrooms. Anyway, with I flushed the eight ball down a toilet. At the beach. That sucks. I've never done cocaine, We're having, so like, I don't know what it feels like. We're having two separate podcast conversations. These Muslims, man. Never tried it. I'm not into the you powders. You do. Are they good? Yeah. I'm now. I'm talking about how I want to do so mush. I, don't, I mean, I don't need it. I, I want you to have I can it. To you guys. No, no, but I want I, you. I want to do mushrooms right with here. Emily at the beach. We've been talking about this for like all right. Maybe we should months. Have <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> I want to do that too. I'm into that. Are we all three of us doing it now? Yeah, I Airbnb like all your vibes. Though. We want to get like an Airbnb by the beach. I'm into that. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like water is needed for my experience. I mean, I, I did do them once. They were mushroom chocolates, but they were just very, very like weak. Can you, this and is a fact that I learned from a girl in Amsterdam, that you are never supposed to mix chocolate and mushrooms because cocoa has a very negative reaction to mushrooms. Really? I don't know if it's true, but I totally believed her when she told me that. So I never eat chocolate with mushrooms now. Huh. What kind of reaction? A negative reaction. So if you're having a bad trip on mushrooms, the cocoa will make it worse? Much oh, worse. Yeah. 
But if you're, it's also inverse. Like if you're having a good trip, then it'll make it really nice. But I always kind of think it's going to be a bad trip, and I try to minimize it. You're an anxious trip. person, huh? I don't know. I don't know. No? Do you think I'm an anxious person? Do I no, feel anxious but to you? I, you don't seem like it. I don't feel very anxious. But you said that you always think it's going to be a bad trip, no. so. I just not anxious. Though. Drugs before. He's not anxious yeah, I'm pretty normal. You're pretty lonely? I'm pretty normal. Well, that oh. too. I'm pretty lonely, and I'm pretty normal. Aren't we all lonely? Yeah, we're all definitely alone. It's L.A., man. City no, of loneliness. That's being alive, I think. L.A. Lonely. Wait, what's the, a good... I am so lonely. How has yeah. this night been? Have people been walking by? Yeah. Seems a little dry right now. People have been, people been walking by, having a conversation real quick, and then walking away. Yeah. I haven't been the most entertaining. How can you say that? Because I know... I like... I don't feel it tonight. Just not you? feeling the vibe. Like, not you, just my own self really? feels weird. I feel weird tonight, yeah. Well, it's because it's Labor Day and you've been working for I just feel weird today. What did you guys do for Labor Day? What? What did you do for Labor Day? Nothing. I went to work. Oh, yesterday. Oh, today. Today was Labor Day, right? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. This whole day's been Labor Day. Uh, I went out to lunch with my friend Julio. For a very long time. We had like an extended lunch and talked about music and bullshit. And then uh, <laughs> he got like he got like food poisoning. Oh, no. And like had to like run to my house and like shit and puke. It was crazy, but I didn't. What? I didn't get it. That's a shitty what? Labor Day. Yeah. He was like, he was like shitting and puking and like sweating. At your house? Yes. And I was like, are you okay? And he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> Was this a date? Well, no, this is, my, this is my friend Julio. I've known him forever. Okay. Um, I you sure <laughs> it wasn't a date? <laughs> no. He has a girlfriend, and he's like just been one of my good friends for a long time. But, uh, yeah, I felt really bad for him. Because we at the restaurant, and he was like, I got to go. Like, I gotta, <laughs> I'm like, i going to die. What did you eat? What was it that got it was like, it was no It was just like uh, sweet and sour or hot and sour soup. And then, like, some rice <laughs> and noodles. <laughs> what? Is that bad? I don't know. I don't know. It's a bad start. Hot and sour soup. Oh, you don't like hot and sour soup? I've never gotten sick off of it, and I imagine if you get sick off a of hot and sour <laughs> soup. It's not going <laughs> to be fun. It's going to be the worst fucking thing yeah, I Yeah. I, well, I, but here's the thing. I felt fine. So I was like, are you sure you didn't eat? I don't. I was like, are you sure you didn't eat something else weird? I don't know. I was, like, seriously normal. Seriously normal. And he was seriously not He was seriously like, he was like, man, yeah, sometimes Curtis. this happens when I eat food. Not doing this? Okay. You, God damn it. Where's my <laughs> replacement? You can leave it any time. No, uh, yeah, we, we just talk about to each other about okay. stuff. Okay, do you edit this or do you just, like, no. let it flow? Just let it flow for a little bit. Because the music sure in the background is just playing the whole time, so oh, it's kind of like right. ambient sounds. You can't really trick people with that. No. It would sound weird. It's candid. It's. I'm pretty sure I wish you could probably edit it half the time. I know, but it's It's kind of just whoever wants to listen to it will listen to it. Whoever doesn't want to listen to it doesn't have to listen to it. No one's going to It's just going to be me and you. I don't care. I'm I having know. a good time. Did you put the first one out yet? It's coming out tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning? Yeah. How do I do it? You just listen to it on YouTube. On what? YouTube. Okay. You're gonna. Are you going to share the link? I'm going to share the link tomorrow. You're going to share the link tomorrow as well. Sure, yeah. We're both sharing the link. Sharing links. Although I shared this event that I'm producing today. Get wet. Yeah, but it it it's it got like it got like likes. <laughs> got like ten likes. Yeah, when you share an event now, One you don't get a lot like. of likes. It's weird. It's like because Facebook wants you to pay for it. So no, but it's just a poster get, of an event. I know you're just not gonna get a Even lot of likes. Even on Instagram. Instagram, you should get a lot of likes. Ten like. No, let's check it out right now. Let's see how many people. Well, it's, do you have a lot of friends that go to club nights? They go to what? Club nights? Yes. Oh. That's why I was like, what the fuck? Okay. It yeah, is at yeah. 13 <laughs> likes, guys. Damn. Don't. How many likes do you usually get on your photos? Like 100. Like oh every 70 God. to 100. Oh, people my really God. People really disliked this for some reason. That's hilarious. I, well, I think, I think that people don't. Well, here's the thing, though. Also, Instagram these days. What? 
they just really disliked this post. They had no, they well, had nothing to do with it. Whoa, that girl is wrong. She looks like she belongs oh, yeah, in Vegas. She, was she belongs in Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, she totally does. Um, no, I first of all, I think people don't like anything that's not a picture of your face now, like or like, you know. Sure. Uh, so that's the thing. Uh, like art isn't appreciated nearly as much, I don't think. Wow. And secondly. I also think that now that there's that weird algorithm, like your shit can get buried, man. Yeah, if it's not, fuck. yeah, it can get buried if it's not. Somebody told me there's people running algorithms, like, like, you know. I think they're computers. No, somebody said that there's like people oh, that yeah, there monitor people. that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they can, like, if they can bump your shit to the top of everyone's feed and stuff like that, which I think is fucking crazy. But no works. one's going to like a poster. Whatever. We'll see what happens. What is Get Wet? It's a dance night that I'm throwing at Los Globos. What time? What day? It's at 9 o'clock to 2 a.m. On? On Sunday, September 17th. Oh, my God. And it's only $5. And the wow. DJs are dope. And my what birthday's that start? week before. 9. I can come. You're going to come? It's right down the street from both our houses. Yeah. Oh, hey, guys. I want to see I went to your place the other day. I heard. Yeah. I wasn't there. No, you weren't. Where was I? You were at work, probably. How'd you like it? Are you banging a roommate? roommate? Fuck, don't look at my room. Oh, my my God. My room's a fucking shit show Your room is a shit show. (laughs) Why were you at Emily's house when she wasn't there, huh? That's a real question. Emily's roommate used to live in my room. Is sucking your dick. Yeah. Emily's roommate is sucking Uh my dick. <laughs> Was that too weird for you two? Emily's too? roommate is pretty much my sister. Oh, so <laughs> my sister. <laughs> so you, no, no one's sucking anyone's dick. We were just hung out and we had beers and. And stuff. then she sucked your dick. Yeah, you got to hang out in the living room. The I hung out in the room living room. Was, like, put together. Yeah, your room looked like you do a lot of meth. <laughs> do a lot of heroin. <laughs> a lot of heroin. I just Emily's room looked like. But you know what? She there's a lot of craft ones. projects on the ground. Well, look at I she looks pulled together. Wow, then you do a good she job. She's pulled together. That it. room though is, <laughs> that room looks like a trailer that just like got hit by a tornado. <laughs> but everything else in the apartment pristine, very nice, very clean, very sharp. I and Emily's room just looks like holy fuck. Okay, I took on these projects and then it got really hot. We don't have AC. So just stop everything. At least put that dresser back up. It's on the ground. It's on the wait. There's a dresser on the ground. Why is it on the ground? She's about to paint it. Oh. Sure, sure. So I have nowhere to put my clothes. It's because she's trying to sell it to go buy (laughs) meth. She's trying to flip this merch. She's gonna go buy some meth. That room, man. That was crazy. That's your first. uh, No, the apartment is great though. Yeah. Apartment's great really nice. Yeah. Something out more. I will. Uh, that okay. that guy just very creepily stared at me. I did not that? like that. It was like, that was like. What did he do? It's like, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't even know. I saw at an improv show last night. And yeah. I haven't stopped talking about it because a guy tried to make out with one of the girl improvisers and had zero context for why he tried to make out with her. Wait, one of the other improvisers did that? Yeah, he tried to make uh, out with this girl. He entered the scene trying to make out with this girl, and it made no sense. Did she so, go for it? No, of course not. It made no sense for her to make out with him. He really wanted to make out with someone and thought, this, this is, is nice the way shot. I can do this it. I can do it on stage it. right now, yeah. <laughs> and she will won't She won't say no. She'll be in the moment, and then she like turned her head and was like, what are you doing? It was so awkward. If I was that person's teacher, it'd be like... Isn't that like the definition the of improv, here. though, is awkward? It was, this was more than yeah. awkward. And no, I don't think that's the definition of improv at all. It's supposed to be like funny and taking care of each other and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Okay, but sometimes it's really awkward. Sometimes it's amazing. If it's bad, if it's bad yeah, it's very awkward. Yeah. But if it's good, it's like great comedy. Is that Pat Reagan? No, I think they're just like sucking each other's titties. <laughs> You're just titty sucking. You know? I saw him deal. like Dude, 20 Pat? minutes ago. I don't remember him being that drunk. Pat's like the... I've seen him make out with so many girls here. Why are you Dope. saying his name out loud? This is cool? This is cool? I'm not saying anything bad. No, I know, but... 
Well, earlier I told Omid something, and I was like, I can't talk about that on the podcast. He was like, who cares? That's true. Who cares? Right. Who cares? I guess if I was in a drunken stupor making out with someone that I wouldn't want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. I mean, I think if you're doing it in public, like, anyone can see it, and it's kind of your bad then. Yeah, well, we can't look. We can't pay attention. Plus, he's made out with so many. I've seen him make out with so many people here. He's not hiding it if it's been that many. You know? I don't know. Yeah. Am no. I justifying? I have no attachments to Neither do I. most people here, so I don't care. I just didn't know what we were doing. We're just hanging out. Oh, yeah. We are trying our best, trying to figure this out. Yeah. What's your time left on this thing? We've done 50 minutes so far. 50? Five zero. Damn. Oh, yeah, we only have like 10 minutes left. Something like that. You gotta get someone else on here. Okay. If Josh Emily. Barton would Josh? only talk Josh to us. Josh won't do it. Josh, Josh isn't won't ready do yet. it. He's just gonna flick us off He's every not ready time. Yet. <laughs> Did he just touch it and that's it? I think so. I think he tried to shake my hand, but my hands are full right now. I bet he tried to finger the mic. I was hoping he'd say at least hi or something. Yeah. But that's pretty much it. It's very loud tonight, yeah. Hi. Do you know them? No. You're just saying hi? Huh? You're just saying hi? Yeah, I was trying to get them to talk to us. Oh, wow. <laughs> I don't know. That was it? That was your plan? <laughs> that's a bad plan. Yeah, it did backfire. It didn't work you at all. scared when you got weird shit on your chin and your ears. <laughs> it's not scary at all. I'm wearing headphones and it's a microphone. We're at Wait, a comedy you think club. Omid looks, you think Omid looks scary? I don't dangerous. think it ever looks scary. <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> Omid looks dangerous. Intimidating. Yeah. Maybe if we were dancing. More people would talk to us? Walsh doing this. It's not a bad Wonder, idea. Wonder, are we able to, could we walk with this? Yeah, of course we can. This I don't is think we should. I just was wondering to. if that's going to be an option in the future. That is going to be an option in the future. We can totally do that because we're we just go connected anywhere. to this handheld machine. And you won't pause it ever, huh? I don't think so. I think I'll just leave it going. In case something wacky and wild happens. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just dead air with Emily. I couldn't hear you. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> now that we're just talking about the podcast. Trying to figure out what to do when there's uh, nothing to talk about or nothing happening. When there's nothing to talk about or nothing happening. Usually I feel like you and I are good at that, but I I'm know. just, like I said, I'm I in a... I think I'm ruining it for you guys right now. All right, then get out of here. We'll, we'll right, talk bye. and then we'll talk to you later. Hey, give me a drink. What? Hey, Simone. Mercury? Nah, never mind. Margarita. If that's okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm just... I'm in such a weird mood today. I'm sorry. No, no, you're doing fine. You're how are you know what? Today. How are you doing emotionally? I'm okay. You know, I'm sad. Yes. Uh, I my, can't. You know, my dad passed. Yeah, that's yeah. why I'm asking. I know, but I felt like it would be I necessary like information to yeah, bring into the podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, kind of learning how to redo everything. Life. And yeah, and understanding more of like time and the importance of using it correctly. Yes. Like the whole life is too short scenario. Again, I don't think life is short. I think days are short. Right. And life is a long. Long. Life is long, days are short. And if right. you can have a bunch of good days, then you probably had a good life. It's such a, that saying or that whole, all of it life is too short or you know use your time wisely or whatever it's so hard because i'm such a deep romantic inside yeah you know and i want to live by that so hard like in everything with like friends and and lovers and you know stuff like that but then i think sometimes when you try to do that we're in this place where no one no one likes that anymore no one likes falling in love not falling in love, but just, like, being vulnerable, like, trying to, you know, like, everyone still has, like, so much pride. There's so much pride in everyone that I feel like instead of, so, there's, instead of like, loving, it's, like, pride and egos put barriers between people. 
Do you not think that? Not really. I think there's. I think those aren't real people that you fall in love with. I think those are just like people that you run into, but those aren't the ones that you actually will end up with or right. or end up having a real relationship with. Totally. But I mean, I have friends, is what I'm saying, that like I've gotten in a fight with and it's been something petty or stupid. And like I, you know, maybe I've reached out a couple times and I've been like, you know, and they do something that I don't appreciate or whatever, and then they never reach back out. And I always want to be the one to hash it all out. I'm always like, don't like having negative energy yeah but sometimes you have to set boundaries too so there's that weird fine line well, you can't get hurt yeah anything that hurts you is a waste it sucks yeah yeah not that it's a waste but like it's if, a waste. if you learn that it hurts you and you keep doing it well that's the definition of insanity oh something that well, you do, do and hope that for a different result yeah 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 that that phrase is that Wait, true though is that insanity i don't know but i mean kind of it's always a little bit different it's it is like a little a, bit it's not like every time is exactly the same. Right. Man, this cotton candy smell from this vape pen is disgusting. I know, it's terrible. We've had a weird night of smells. Yeah, there's been a lot of weird smells. Um, yeah, I just... You're right. And I I think I just generally so badly want to see the good in everybody that I, I, I tend to personally give people, like, lots of chances and I allow myself to get hurt over and over and over. That's not right either. I know. That's what I'm saying. Luke Schwartz, Connor McNutt, Mecky. No? Nobody? All right. I didn't hear what you said, but... I didn't hear what he said either. I have uh, headphones on, so... But yeah. This is like more getting more vulnerable tonight. Yeah? Not vulnerable, it's but the like... the music, really. It's the vibes. <laughs> yeah, this... I mean, the, this, vibes the music's making out. me want to twerk. Simone, yeah. can I ask you a question? Yes. All right. Hey, yesterday at the Hollywood Improv, this is a podcast, by the way. Okay. That story that you told about touching that kid's dick, is that a true story? It is a true story, and I was so mad that I said rape on stage. I did not rape him. I just touched him. Yeah. But he was underage, so. Okay. It was ballsy as fuck to say that on stage, because if there was a cop or a doctor in the room, they would have to report you to the police. But even if it was a long time ago? Even if it was a long time ago. If you were over the age of 18 and you touched a minor and there's someone responsible in the room, they would have to report it. So do you suggest I not announce that anymore? I would highly suggest you don't say that ever again. So maybe just don't say rave. Just say that, oh, I can't even you say anything. You shouldn't say anything about That's it. That's not fair because it the makes minute, the joke. The minute you said you kissed him is, is a problem. So maybe I can say in my imaginary mind we had You kissed sex. him. Yeah. And then in my imaginary mind, I raped him. So it's not a big At deal. At least Sorry say for that. saying rape, guys. I really don't want to say that, but I don't know another word for it. If you have one, if you could comment. Sexual assault. Boom. Yeah, but is that as funny? I didn't I didn't know what. I don't even know the story. It's the story is I used to dance with, like, children, and I was crushing on a 15-year-old, and I made it a point to give him a ride home, and things led to other things that I, Wait, you I didn't know. He was younger, you know? This is a true story that I heard last night at the Hollywood Improv. Wow. Yeah. So you've already not done what I told you to do by not telling that story again. But that was just last night, so no, I won't do it again. Now I have to rewrite I mean, another and, joke. And tonight, right? You should. It's not a joke, though, right? It's a real thing that you did? I don't have any jokes. I just talk about my life, and hopefully somebody can care me and care for me and hold me and <laughs> console me. Aww. That's it? Yeah. Sad. So if anybody's out there looking for a nice single girl that just wants to hug all the time, Sim one says hi. As long as you're Come at me. as long as you're fifteen to sixteen years old. <laughs> I've grown out of it. You could be nineteen. <laughs> I'm dead ass serious. Sim just, one says hi. Just be careful. Just be legal. Just be Thank legal. You. Thank you for the advice. I love you. I love you too. Good job. Whoa, Thanks. she almost just touched your dick. I don't did. think you would have been mad though. Not really. It's been a while. What? Not really. It's been a while. Um, you didn't get laid overseas. That's what we never did. talked about that I either. Did. You I did. did get laid overseas. Dude, you're bigger. You're a more bigger pimp than I am. That's not true. I, I got laid once. I got laid once on the first day I was in Edinburgh with yeah, a girl that I, I had sex with. I can't even get laid here. Yeah, but that's your problem. What are you like when you go to Minneapolis? Uh, well, I used to have a guy that I always hooked up with every time I went back home. Yeah. Very sexy. He what was hot. To him? Uh. He kind of ditched me at a wedding because he did too much blow the night before. That sucks. And so 
I told him how I felt about that. And he never responded. Drugs. Huh? Wow, drugs broke you guys up, huh? Yeah. Who drugs are... Oh, that feels so good. Yeah, it feels good to stand up for a minute. Drugs are a crazy thing. He never apologized, which I just... That was kind of shitty. I really choose winners, though, you know? Is he still on drugs? Feng Chao. Huh? Feng Chao, come here. Come here. How are you doing? Come talk to us. It's How are you? You're in, about your you're in, you're right in nice right clothes. Now. You're in nice clothes. Nice. I got laid last night. Hell yeah. Hey, we're just talking about people no, getting laid. No condoms. Wow. That's awesome. Who did you fuck? Huh? Who did you fuck? Some white girl. I feel like you should be in a better mood for getting laid. I'm just angry in general. I No, <laughs> but like, you have those moments of happiness. Small. Thai food, market and song. And oh, you never yeah. go. I would try to go today and Maybe that's close. why you're single. Because I don't go to m- market night market song, song with people? I'm too angry. I, what's up? Hi. Why are you so Hang angry? You just got laid. Huh? I said, why are you so angry? You just got laid. Well, because my my marriage didn't work out. No. Okay. That hurts me. Okay. Well, I fucked up. What did you do? You going to help me? Yeah, sure. I cheated. Oh, you did? I did. Okay. What are you going to say? Uh, help me, white girl. Why did you well, cheat? Well, I don't think you want to. I just, I just, I just want to. I, I didn't believe them. I just fucked one girl for the rest of my life. I just didn't. I didn't believe, believe in that. You huh? didn't believe in monogamy. But now I, I, I think now I do think maybe I believe her. And I maybe not. I don't know. Do you want to go get back together with her? No. You don't want to, not the girl you cheated on. I'm saying your wife. You don't want to get back together with your wife. So then so maybe then it, it just wasn't. Out. Yeah. So maybe it just wasn't meant to be in yeah, general. It totally it's, worked out. Well, for a comedian to be a, like a real life scumbag, it worked out. But. But as a human being, you kind of fucked up, right? Yeah, but who cares about the human being part? <laughs> oh, Mead, I thought you were sweeter than this. Uh, no, it's the truth. No, is it like when you talk to a monster, you got to be a, speak a monster language? <laughs> well, ah, no, wow. I mean, I don't... Well, I did what I did, and... Uh, I mean, I think it's human. Do you have human. to move out? Do you have to move out? I did. I got kicked out. Fuck. I did. That's real. See, I'm fucked yeah. up because if a dude cheated on me... I'd be so pissed, but I'd probably end up like being like, if you uh, want to. You will suck his dick again. Yeah, like I'll be back. like, yeah, but no, not girl. to get him back. No, not to get him back. I will probably just like listen to his sob story. If if he wanted to get back to, you know, like if right. he was like, I cheated on you, it meant nothing. I still want to be with you. I would be probably understanding enough to be like, okay, um, I guess you got to prove it. I just, you I do that. I give, chance. I give guys a, a lot of chances. To prove me wrong and try and impress me. Because I feel like, like everyone's human and we fuck I, up. I'm I, not a cheater, though. I just... Uh, you can't do it. I just want to be a sweetheart in real life. That's what I want to do. Everyone's trying to have a great time. I'm going to have a great time. Good. Yeah. Right? So what's next? Uh, I'm, I'm going to fuck that girl again. <laughs> Last night. I'm going to... I think I'm gonna go to open mic first, and then if she's still around, I'll fuck her. You're gonna go get it. It's a good idea. I'm gonna follow my dream first, white girl, and then fuck one of your fellow white girl friends. (laughs) I like it. That's tight. Good luck. Okay. Yeah. Too much. No, No, I love it. We were it fit perfectly into the conversation me and Omid were just having before this. What did you guys talk about? Talk about fucking. Fucking hurty, like just being hurt, love. But you yeah. really felt it, like you had repercussions to yours. Yeah, you just felt our Hi, en- energy, and we're like, yeah. I think, I think my life is pretty good now. It's getting huh? better. Life is good. Stand up is good. Start uh, fucking white girls with no condoms. <laughs> yeah. That's what ethnicity? Trying to w- knock another one wife. up. What's uh, up? What ethnicity is your wife? Milwaukee. Milwaukee, Milwaukee. <laughs> so she's white too. Your That's wife funny. is white. It's funny. Yeah, no, he just. Th- Minnesota isn't that better. Like, oh, no, Milwaukee. I, that's ha. not what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what you she missed, was saying. You missed what Omid asked you, and yeah. your answer was Mo- hilarious. Asked, I said, "What's her race?" I think is what Ethnicity. I said. Ethnicity. My wife. Yeah. Yeah. Ex-wife, white, pale white. Oh, so you're, you've yeah. been fucking white people for a while. Since college. Yeah. Oh, I thought like your wife was Asian and then you started fucking. It was Asian. It was you just said she was from Milwaukee. 
No, my ex-wife is from Milwaukee, but before my ex-wife, I had sex with a lot of Chinese girls. Okay, but you married a girl from Milwaukee, a white yeah. girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you are now sleeping with another white girl. Yeah. Wow. Full I think circle. he likes the white girls. Full circle. Right? Well, I laid down some pipes, Chinese pipes. I don't know. That's hack. Some Chinese pipes. Some Chinese railways. I, to I told the girl that my my dick for Chinese dicks are not that long, but it was thick, and it's so like, boom. All Chinese but dicks it gets, are. It gets job done. Get the job done. All Chinese dicks are not long, but they are thick. That's what for you're. Chinese people, like you're not listening. You I can't just, put a you can't put a Chinese tit with a white tit together to compare with each other. That's why you're ignorant. Like, I don't think she's ignorant. I mean, they're just different. I'm just asking. I I tits I, are different. You know that, right, man? Yeah. No, I know. Do I'm you? Saying, yes. Yeah. Your left one is a little different than your right one. <laughs> uh, no. Every every I think every it's like your that, feet. That went down a little like. Isn't it like your feet? Now, a little bigger? now for all the listeners, Megan is all perked up because we're talking about her tits. I'm not perked up. I'm just standing, standing straighter straight. to see if they are different sizes. I can't tell. I don't think they are. I can't no, tell. No, I'm just trying to jab at you your insecurity. But I'm not insecure about my boobs no, at all. Be, yeah. I will show every – I mean, I won't. But I would have – if somebody was like – Show some cocoa nuts. Yeah, I, I have no problem with my tits. They're great. Okay. So I'm that's – I'm not insecure about that. Okay. Follow your you dream. nice tits, nice ass, <sighs> beautiful face. Ha Oh, look at that. A little nice. chow chow being nice for once. Yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. I like I he was nice chow chow. No, it's uh, like I don't know how to say compliments to girls. And white girls tend to get like. Well, what? What was that? Being white girls. <laughs> Did I do a white girl thing? I don't know. I didn't see it. I just hugged him a after yeah. the compliment. Is that not okay? <laughs> What's this podcast thing you keep doing every Monday? We're yeah, or like Monday or Tuesday, whatever night it works. But yeah, cool. out here, yeah. Cool. Yeah. What do you think of Megan? She's great. What do you think of Omid? I love Omid, right? Like me in my oh, and you're okay. I like Omid quite quite a bit. Yeah, oh, Kyle. You hear that? Kyle just tapped my ass. Like I he touched Kyle your was very ass? nice. He put me up tonight. That um, was really nice. He put me up tonight too. He was very that happy was good. about that. You said was good. I had a good time, the yeah. The crowd was good. The crowd, the crowd was, was good. I got I, I got on new. right after they turned the lights off. That was the first set with the lights off. So it was great. Game over. That's just like game, game over. over. That's like game over. Give me the microphone. Let me. All right, get, don't, let me don't do this. Don't light me. Let, let me, me go. do this. Yeah, it was great. You had a great set. I had a good set. I talked you had about a good my set? dad. Yeah. I did something new. That was good. Good. Yeah. Proud uh, of you. It's just doing new stuff in there makes me feel really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, huh? Uh, just a pack. Yeah, yeah, recording stuff. Every Monday you do something new. It's, it, it's exciting. Yeah. That's great. I'm going to go do an open mic. And Where do you go to open mic? Again. All right. Sunset and La Brea. Thank you for having me. Tight. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. hanging. Ciao. Uh, Feng Ciao. A little, little angry. But now I'm okay. Yeah, I feel like you Thanks seem for, great now. I, I I kicked out a guy sitting in the main room. For doing what? Com, like we see the customers. I told them you can't sit here. Just sit in that section. I told them once. Second time I come around, I said, hey, you can't just move to that section. The guys like, oh, but I wanna I wanna try to order some food. I said, fuck you. Get the fuck out of the booth. He goes, why are you so aggressive? I was like, Ooh. get the fuck out. Wow. The beauty and of the I comedy just got story. Laid last night. And you just got laid no last night. No condom. I would what's hate, wrong with me? I would hate to see what it's <laughs> like when you've waited like a week. I, I know. I don't even want to see that. It's crazy. One time I got Ooh. strawberry uh, froyo here. I was eating a froyo. Some black guy came or whatever. Like, I was like, what? What, what do you need? And the guy was like, oh. I just want to know where the ding dong show is. So like, all right, Thanks, Feng Chao. I'm just angry. All right. See I you love you. Yeah. I See love you tomorrow you. night, probably. Yeah. Uh, did we reach a nice, uh, good we're 60 a, minutes or We were at 70 minutes right now. 
Wow. I can go for a little bit longer. What are we talking about? I feel like you and I haven't had a chance to talk. We did. We we were talking about uh, your dad. Yeah. And then love and life and. Yeah. And then. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there isn't anything else to talk about. There's nothing else to talk about. Is that what you said? Kind of. Yeah. I mean, today <coughs> was. I feel like we're both in a more of a melancholy type. Mood. Days. Mood. Yeah. 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 Well. I have a reason. <laughs> you have a real legit reason. Yeah, I don't. A real legitimate reason. I don't have any reason. I mean, no. I'm just being a baby. And being, you know, hurt in my heart of hearts. Did we really talk about why you're sad? No. Do you want to talk about it real quick? Huh? Do you want to talk about it? I don't. All right. Because I don't. But I'm not. it's not sad. It's just like disappointed and I don't know hurt that is sad is being disappointed sad? and hurt is being sad <laughs> okay that's like the definition of sad all right well I'm sad then did I lose my bag oh I did didn't I you lose what that little plastic bag that I had oh in. I think that the somebody busted it damn well we'll find you another bag I know it's just a bag just a bag it's just a bag should we it's end on that a, note it's just another thing it's just a it's just a bag. It's just a bag. All right. Bye. <laughs>